Babe, your Yankee friends are here. They said it's time to see your new studio. How many of them are there? All of them. All of them? Oh my gosh, I'm right in the middle of I'm right in the middle of my September class project and the room is an absolute mess. They can't see it like this. Um, go just tell them that I'm right in the middle of something I need like two minutes and I'll just shove all this in a bin. They can't see my room like this for the first time, so I gotta clean it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I am much more prepared. Thank you so, so much for coming by to see my studio tour. If you're new here, welcome. If you like what you see in my tour, definitely by the end of the video, subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial videos and card making videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, I'm gonna stop talking because I know that you are just dying to see my studio. So without further ado, let's go have a look. Now, one of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put up a photo of my studio for you guys because I've got all my recording equipment set up because I've been filming all day. So I want you to have a really good look at a few of these pictures so that you can kind of see what it looks like without all my filming equipment. I won't go into too much detail about my filming equipment because that's really not what the video is about, but I will show you guys. So here's my filming equipment and this tall unit right here is actually a microphone stand and I've got it extended like an upside down L. So because my camera over there, I have a Sony A6000, it's kind of heavy. So we put some weights here on the end with a ball so they don't fall off. It just kind of balances everything out. And then I've got a whole bunch of extra LED lighting. Todd kind of set up this, this, I don't even know what it is. I couldn't even tell you, but he set that up. And then this unit under here was the camera holder for my phone that you just saw me on. And then I also use that for my lives. But it goes all the way to the floor. And there's some cords showing, but that is basically my camera setup. So the camera just kind of sits right above, it's hard to get a good angle here, right above my workstation. Now, the reason I'm not filming this on that camera is because I don't have a wide angle lens, so it makes it rather difficult to get good wide shots like my phone gets. So I'm gonna start at this end of the room. This is where I come in. And this unit here is new. Now, as I go along, I'm gonna put up the prices of each new piece of furniture I got because I've got a little running contest on my Facebook page and Facebook group to see who could guess how much I spent. So this unit here is new, it's from Canadian Tire, and all the bins, I'll list all of those separately because I got them all in so many orders, but I'll list what the total was because I have four of these units that you're looking at here and there's nine bins in each. So that was nice and slim because as you can see, it's kind of a skinny, tight little turn to get in over this way here. So I needed something really narrow. I did want to get another one of these um, Hemnes dressers, but they were just too deep and it was, it just blocked too much. But I really love this cube storage because it looks pretty and you can pack so much into it. So I love those. The next new unit is this Hemnes dresser here, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I opted to get the glass top for it. And the nice thing is that the units I got over here, and over there, those are both Hemnes as well, but they're more like a dining room type furniture, but they really match perfectly with these units here. So I'm not overly thrilled with the way that this area here looks. I find it looks a little bit cluttered. Um, I may change out the solutions I've got for storage here, but I mean, I've got all my Nouveau drops, I've got all my stickles, I've got more stickles and then all my miscellaneous things. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes um, some other storage I got, and if I could find this, I might replace it just because I don't wanna see in everything anymore. Now, while I don't wanna bore you and go through every single drawer, I will show you some of the storage solutions I got. 
Now, I have an obscene amount of glitter, and those two bins over there are all embossing powders, and then the infamous My Inky Fingers powders that you guys see me make all of my splatters with are also in here. But the thing I like the most is these bins. I mean, they're clear, they're plastic, they're not acrylic, but I absolutely love these bins because they're, like I said, they're clear. It doesn't look like my drawers are cluttered. I'm able to organize everything. And then they come in different sizes. This one's very long and skinny. This holds all of my old um, acrylic blocks, but it's it helps me stay organized for sure. I've got more of them down here, and this is basically overflow things that are new things people have sent to me extras of things that I know if they if I run out I need more of glues my baggies and again all those awesome acrylic storage bins now the bottom is where I store all of my cards I've made dividers for each of my bins um, they kind of go every which way in there because I have an abundance of them so the bottom is the deepest drawer so I was able to get all of my cards in there in those same little plastic bins and they stay super super organized I love it now in this unit this would be to my left when I'm at my workstation and this is all my Stampin' Up stamps I've got my Cricut up top and that's just a solution for now because as you can see I am almost full I have six slots left for CD cases but the top row uh, the top two rows are all current the bottom row is retired and then I've got a few CD cases there of miscellaneous dies that aren't stamping up and all my extras but this I love because when I open those doors, I can see everything in my old studio. I had a black unit with a bar down the middle that I absolutely hated. I was always looking around side to side. And the best part about it is when it's closed, I can see all my beautiful CD cases. So I absolutely love and adore that. Now in the top drawer here, is where I keep all of my grid papers and then once I've used a grid paper I fold it in half and I put it on this side so that I can use those for scratch papers. Now down here in the second drawer is where I keep all of my current Stampin' Up! ribbons. My ribbons in the back there are all from the mini and all my embellishments and whatnot and the nice thing is they have those containers I was showing you in different sizes and this one is like a medium. I'll list um, small or I'll list them as medium, large, and long. This one would be a medium. So I've got some extra little containers in there just to help keep it organized. This one here would be a long and it's just perfect for these ribbons. Now these drawers are a lot more narrow than the dressers, but with those storage bins in there, it keeps everything super organized for me, which I absolutely love. The bottom drawer here is where I keep all of my paper pumpkin and I do keep them in a different type of storage. Bella is not happy that the video is on. She's gonna go hide in her toy bed because she has a thing with cameras. So whenever she sees them, she is just, she will hide. She does not want to be on camera. So she looks like she's super smooshed over there, but she's really not. She's laying in the basket with all of the little plushy toys and there's Giz. So this is the drawer that I really use the least, but I'll give you a little peek. So I just, I keep them all stored in there and I do have a video on how I, how I store those, so I will link that for you guys. Now this here really wasn't what I had intended to do with this room. These two units right here were pictured on the IKEA website with a shelving unit in the middle, and the three-piece set was just under a thousand dollars, and that's what I was gonna get, but they didn't have it in stock. So instead, I opted to use this unit that you saw in my old studio tour because the little knobs on it really matched quite well and it has the glass doors so it almost looked like it was a set. This unit pokes out a little bit further as you can see here but that doesn't bother me because I have plenty of space in between these two here so 
I'm not mad at that at all. Now here, I've got all my Stampin' storage, as you can see. I do like my acrylic um, containers for all of my embossing powders and whatnot. And these are just the ones I use the most. Now these are the drawers I was telling you guys I was gonna show you. And you saw these in my old studio tour, but, and I will link these for you because I did find them, but I like that you can't see in them and they just look super clean because this is where I keep all my dimensionals and my tape runners and just different bits and bobs that I don't wanna look at. So up top, I've got all of my top storage stuff. I know you guys are gonna to wanna to know what this is, and this is just an old powder poof. I emptied it out and I filled it with embossing powder and I gave the feathers a trim, and that's now my new destatification tool. This one, I got at the dollar store, and this I just clean off my workstation when it gets all dirty or dusty with granules from embossing powder. And then I've got everything organized over here. These are all just the things that I use the most of. And then of course above it, I've just, I haven't really staged this right now. I just threw some cards up there. Um, fall is coming, so I'm gonna start replacing it with all of my fall and Halloween cards and my brand logo. I had to get that on the wall. I'm actually thinking about making these so that you guys can purchase them and iron them on your t-shirts or bags or stuff like that. So let me know if that's something that you guys think you'll want. Now in this cabinet, it's kind of more just stuff for show. I mean, I used to be a prima flower lover. I mean, I still love them, but I don't use them quite as much. Um, but I do have all my prima flowers. The nice thing is I'm so obsessed with these things. I put them on a lazy Susie. I can link these for you guys if you want, but I get to turn them there. I love that. I've got to pick up another one for this side so that I can turn those. But hey, actually, that's the very first card I ever made. It's kind of, it's kind of plain, but it's kind of cute. I got to keep it in there. So here I've got three of the 12 by 12 storage drawers. I tried to find these for you guys to link them, but they're just astronomical online. I got them at Walmart years ago, but I keep all of my Stampin' Up! stuff in here, and I've got about another 10 of these in another room that I store all of my overflow cardstock in that's not Stampin' Up! But I'm gonna show you this here is an acrylic palette holder, and I absolutely could not live without this because it's got all those awkward tools and stuff that you have. They can all stand up in there just perfectly. I absolutely love it. I put this white board on here just to keep it stable and whatnot, but I absolutely love the palette storage. So that's a really, really good storage solution tip. Um, I will link a palette organizer. And when I say palette, I mean makeup palettes, right? But the thing I'm most excited about, I think I'm most obsessed about this caddy, okay? It just kind of matches. It's so classy and cute. I just love it. But I found it on Amazon. And what it is, is it's a utensil holder. But the back is completely open. And there's four storage little bin like separators in here. And I thought, how perfect is that going to be to keep all of my plates in? And then I have my um, second take your pick over here because it's got my brush end on it. You know, just a few little thingies that I need. And I can keep my tape on the, the handle of this, my little pieces, bits and bobs that I use for my machine. But it's so beautiful and classy and they're not that expensive at all. So I will link those for you guys, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love it. So just a quick look at the whole workstation. This is a big, huge window here, and it's nighttime now, so I've got it closed. But this here unit is new, and I love this. I love that the top drawers are more narrow, and the bottom drawers are larger. And I got the glass top for this as well. And I did get all these new lights, and I'm gonna show you guys those in a second, but I'll go over a few of the drawers. So this one here, I've got, again, all of those um, plastic storage bins because I've got all my embossing folders here. 
I've got all my overflow plates because I have so many of those for the old machines. Extra Xyron stuff in the back. And then those cuddle bug folders go all the way to the back too. But these are Stampin' Up! ones. And these are right here because my machine is right here and that works perfect for me. Now on this side, because my cutter is here in this drawer, I have a basket and this basket has all of my little labels for all of my paper because when I'm cutting, if I can cut some card fronts or some extra pieces, I'll just store them in here rather than putting them in my scrap bin. And then I always have cardstock to grab from here. And all my six by six current cardstock also fits in there. So I love having that there. And then for scraps, I've got a couple of these, you know, plastic storage bins in here. So I've got my whites, I've got my specialty, and then I've got all my colored. And then in the back, I just hide some other stuff. Now this drawer houses all of my retired Stampin' Up! stuff in the front too, um, just embellishments and ribbons. And then my twines are here. And then all my overflow ink pads that may or may not be Stampin' Up! And this drawer has got all my punches. So of course I've got all my Stampin' Up! punches in the front. Green usually means it's retired. Orange little stickers mean it's a mini. And then a whole bunch in the back. But these little um, plastic bins are so perfect. I mean, that's one large plastic bin and look how many punches I got in there. That was just phenomenal. So if you saw my video on how I store my stamps, these are all either retired or non-Stampin' Up! stamps. And I must have, I have well over 200 of these. Both of these drawers are full. So all you do is these CD cases, you can get them on Amazon. I can't link them because we sell Stampin' Up! Um, we sell stamp storage. But normally when you buy them, they come with a little black thing on this side that you would put the CD in. Just pop that out. And if they're um, photopolymer or acrylic, then you can keep them all on each side. Now, if they're rubber, you can only get one layer thick. Now, the nice thing about this, I want to point out, putting your stamps in a drawer or in a cabinet like I have for my current Stampin' Up! stamps is really good for them because they don't get a lot of light stamps uh, photopolymers made with light and they don't like light so keep your stamps out of the light so this is the workstation and i have three of these units i'm missing a few bins because they were on back order so i'm waiting for a few gray bins but i made them to be like an h so you don't see the other side of my workstation here which i'm perfectly fine with but in case you're curious this is what it looks like. So I've got my garbage bin here and it's just attached to the back side of that unit. And then this is the back side that you just saw the front of. And then I've got my plug up here and then just a few other things. So of course I'm missing a bin for here and down there, but they're coming. Now I am gonna mention these lights cause I have been asked about them. Now, the light looks like it's purple, but it's really not. I mean, I can turn it towards you, but you I mean, it's probably pretty blinding, but that's what I love about these because they're on a gooseneck. So you can pretty much put them in any position or angle that you want. And I love that. But what I love the most about them is the brightness. Now I'm going to turn it all the way down and it's going to be difficult for you to see, but I mean, that's off and that's on. And there's four different settings to the hue of the light, but I absolutely am obsessed with them. I've got one on each side of my workstation, and then I've got one over there that lights up my cutting station, and then one over here. I mean, and I'm just, you can see how bright they are. They're absolutely wonderful. They're so, so, so inexpensive. They do come in black as well, but I went with white because pretty much the whole room is white, right? So now the nice thing about my workstation is this used to be against the wall, as you saw in my old studio tour. And now I have such a crazy amount of workspace. I absolutely love it. And I know you guys are going to want to know where I got these. I got them at HomeSense. I didn't make them. Somebody actually asked me if I made those because they saw them in a picture. But I didn't make them. And this 
is a EK Success marker holder. I got it in a craft store that I used to teach classes in. They were phasing out those markers and they had two of those and I opted to only get one not knowing I was going to be a Copic colorer one day. So if, if you want to know where I got it, that's where I got it and I cannot find them. I'm sorry or I would link them for you guys. Okay, so this filing cabinet is new. It's much smaller than my old filing cabinet and I absolutely love it because the top drawer fits all of my current Stampin' Up. Um, I did go over this storage system in my old studio tour. And then in the second drawer, all of my ink colors, I haven't labeled the new ones yet. And then all of my neutral Stampin' Ups and then basically a whole ton of other cardstock. Before I go to the office part of my studio, I'll just go over really quick. New item, I'll put the price up here. New dresser, I'll put the price up here. Two of these units were new, I'll put the price up here. These cube storages, I only added two to the studio, so I'll put the price up here. That dresser there is new, so I'll also put that price up there. Four of these lights are all new, so I will put the price up there. And then I will show you the office. Now, it wasn't my intention to put my office in the closet, but I got rid of so much plastic storage that it just kind of felt a little bit cozy. Now these lights are also new. I can't find them on the website, but I'll, I'll put a price up so that I'm staying in tune with the total makeover cost so that you guys know how much they cost. But I just, I can't find them on the Ikea website, so sorry. But they aren't yellow. Um, it just looks yellow because I painted the inside of the closet this color here and I know you guys are dying to know the colors so this wall here is vanilla sorbet and the green over there because I love celery I got green tea lime so those were the the green tea lime was the closest I could find but now back to the office so my desk that you see here is basically the same desk you saw in my old studio. We had to cut it to fit in the closet, just the top, because the Alex units at the bottom still fit in there. And of course, I've still got the furniture. Um, they're, they're to raise up your furniture, but they worked really, really good for the desktop. And then when I got this unit, that I didn't get that this time, I already had it, but when I got it, I found the monitor didn't quite sit high enough for me, so I got extras of those furniture thingies and put them under there too. So in here, the only thing that's new is the floating shelf and the lights. And now these two shelves inside over there are new. And I've got two more on this side. Now on this side is where I hid all of my computer stuff. Okay, this file folder thing here is new, but I didn't want something to go on the wall. This actually sits on my desk and I can put all my receipts in the very bottom, but it helps keep me organized. But I just laminated some colored cardstock and I just kind of put them all in there. I am absolutely obsessed with this thing. I love it, I love it, I love it. And you can hang it on the wall, but I chose to tuck it in here because it just hides right behind this little wall, which I absolutely love. So basically I'm looking around and I'm trying to see if there's anything I've forgotten that's new and I don't think there is. Oh, actually that shelf up there is new. I just got some extra cards there. The shadow boxes I got at Michael's, those aren't new. So that's basically about it. I mean, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Those lights, it's like being in church. <laughs> I love those lights when I'm making cards. But I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I don't think I have. I'm trying to give you a little bit of a pan here. Now, I don't think I forgot too many things. I do have a little list here of things while I was editing that I noticed I didn't put prices up for. But I'm going to reveal the winner, whoever was closest to the actual dollar amount I spent. So the plastic bins, all of the bins that you saw in all of my drawers, 
those were 148 the file holder thing there in my little office that was 24 the caddy that I got that matches my stamp and cut or a stamp and cut and emboss machine that was 30 so the total before tax was 242 2242 so tax on top of that was 2354 now I gotta give a shout out to Deborah I'm so sorry Deborah you were so so close at 2373 just a few dollars over now shout out to Beth Wilson as well because you were 2100 was your guess but the winner the one who was the absolute closest without going over was Kathy Pizupati so yay congratulations Kathy be sure to message me on my Facebook page or on my website through the contact me and let me know if you're Canadian or American so that I can I can choose your gift accordingly. And again, thank you everybody for coming out and hanging out with me and letting me take you around my absolute dream space. I am in heaven. Let me know what your favorite storage solutions were. And of course, let me know if there's something that you want to see more of, because I didn't want the video to be an hour. I know your time is just as precious as mine. So I just wanted to go over just the basic studio tour. So if there's something you want to see more of, definitely let me know in the comments below. So until I see you guys again, take care and happy stamping.